What's happening YouTube, it's Sean here and I am back today to give you guys a review of the Adidas Future Pacer in the Grey 1 colorway. First off, I just want to give a huge thank you to Adidas Canada for sending me over this pair. These dropped on July 14th for 180 US dollars or 260 Canadian dollars. The official colorway for this shoe is Grey 1, Footwear White and Core Black. So right off the bat, I gotta tell you guys, this is a very very unique looking sneaker. If you're wondering why the heck does this look the way it does, well the design behind this Future Pacer is actually inspired by the 1984 Adidas classic called the Micro Pacer. So the Micro Pacer is famously known for having that computer screen on the tongue and having that mini computer chip that measured the number of steps you took, the calories burned, and the distance ran. So really that Micro Pacer was ahead of its time and Adidas is paying homage to that with this model. So the majority of the Future Pacer is actually constructed using 3M. So basically all the parts that are beige, for example, around the toe box and on the sides of the shoe, all of this is 3M. So when you take a picture of the shoe with direct flash, a good chunk of the shoe is totally going to light up. Found around the edge of the toe box, we have this very soft white leather. On the mid panel of the medial side, we have some random text both in English and Japanese. So I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to represent. So if any of you guys know, let me know in the comments down below. Found around the back heel, we have this large piece of black suede, which basically acts as a heel pull tab. Outlining the very bottom of the back half of the shoe, here we have this foam strip that's done in this purpley blue color. As we take a look at the tongue, this is definitely the most unique and arguably the strangest design aspect about this shoe. So the left foot and the right foot have different tongues. In either case, the tongue is constructed using that same soft white leather, but on the right shoe, here we have this small little pouch However, on the left foot, here we have this little negative space that's supposed to represent where the little screen was found on the micro pacer. So if you guys couldn't tell by now, the tongue on these future pacers is a direct nod to the micro pacer. So this tongue stays onto the body of the shoe using Velcro. As we open up the tongue and flip it over, underneath we have the laces. So these are just your standard flat laces done in this beige color. Underneath the laces, we have the tongue, which is also constructed out of this beige colored 3M material. At the very top, we have this contrast black stitching, along with this hit of this pinkish colored suede. Taking a look at the inside of the shoe, so the insole is actually sewed directly onto the bottom of the shoe. It's done completely in black, and it has the Adidas branding on the heel done in that same pink color that was found on the tongue. The upper of these future pacers sits atop this full length boost midsole. However, Adidas has incorporated a ton of plugs within the midsole, which kind of restricts that soft feeling of boost that we've grown to love. So you see right here at the front, we have these two plugs done in like a light gray. This sandwiches the boost in between. You see this again on the back heel. So on the lateral side, we have the Adidas branding that's embossed directly into the foam. And then starting from the center, rounding out onto the medial side, here we have these thick ridges. Turning these over to the bottom, so here we have a very intricate looking outsole. So this is done primarily in black rubber. We have this Adidas branding found in the very center. And you'll notice that throughout the outsole, there's certain areas that expose the boost underneath. From a sizing standpoint, so I'd say that these run between true to size to a half size small. My feet measures as a true size 10 slightly on the wider side, and Adidas Canada sent me these in a size 10. Because of the way that the shoe is angled where the back heel is kind of pushed forward, I felt like my toes were pretty much hitting the very front of the shoe. From a width perspective, it was perfectly fine, but I'd say that these future pacers run a little bit more on the shorter end. So I'm kind of curious to see how the 10 and a half would have fit, but for me, I can get away wearing the size 10 if I wear thinner socks. From a comfort standpoint, so to be completely honest, I was a little bit disappointed with the comfort considering I had pretty high expectations since this shoe does feature a boost midsole. So it's kind of like the feeling with the NMD R1s where having those foam plugs within the midsole kind of took away from the responsiveness of boost. So I feel like this was more of the same, and I would have preferred if the boost had more of that squishy, bouncy feeling that we've grown used to. So with all that being said, now let me lace these up and show you guys how these look on feet.
to be totally honest, when I first saw pictures of these, these definitely caught my eye. I'm not just saying that because I have these shoes in hand, but this was actually a shoe that I considered picking up, but the price point of 260 scared me off a little bit. I was really drawn to its design as I feel like it gives you that good balance between looking like a retro sneaker, but also looking very, very futuristic. So when I say futuristic, what I mean is in the olden days, how people envisioned, for example, like the year 2000 would be. Totally unrelated, but if you guys are familiar with Toronto's architecture, this shoe sort of reminds me of what the Rogers Center, formerly known as the Sky Dome, looks like. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the Adidas Future Pacer. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on my Instagram as well at esco8, and check out my website at seango.ca. Before I sign off, another thank you goes out to Adidas Canada for hooking me up with this shoe. And until next time, I'll catch you guys in my next video.